How's it going everyone? It's uh, Wednesday the 16th of July. It's around quarter to 11 in the morning. Just got finished up with a session with uh, Ryan, uh, lacrosse player, represents Great Britain. As you can see, got quite a bit of equipment in the back there. Forced to sled into the boot, a couple of hurdles. So we've done a session with some agility work, a little bit of plyometrics, and then we went into a lot of acceleration work with the dog sled and some short accelerations. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to the channel for all things training and coaching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it, if you wanna see more of the videos, but let's get into the video itself. Part of the session we went over a little bit of lateral work for agility so especially in the sport of lacrosse you move in multiple directions so there's a lot of side to side going on so we need to develop strength there and expose the athlete to these uh, positions that you're going to be found within the sport so we focused on a little bit of the crossover shuffle which is part of the 5-10-5 agility test you say agility test it's more of a pre-planned change of direction but it's good to see the development in terms of the start of lockdown where we were working with Ryan online. And we used a little bit of a warm up with this, walk through it slowly, build to 30% speed, 50% speed, 75% speed. And then we went for a full hit on a couple of reps. <laughs> Right. What we did notice is on one side, I think it was the right side, we were lagging a little bit when we planted the leg and then pushing straight into that acceleration. <laughs> tend to focus on on that a little bit uh, we got to a point where we were actually confident in performing it well on both sides as you can see in the video next part of the session we focused on a little bit of plyometric work when we focused on online training, we only had a certain amount of equipment to use. So today we got to implement the hurdles. We started with low level hurdle, jump and stick, medium level hurdle, jump and stick, and then eventually on the high hurdles uh, with a jump and stick too. And then we progressed it through some lateral jumps, just like we said before with the 5 crossover shuffle and jump drill, that when we in a sport similar to lacrosse and any field sports, there's not just forward and backward direction, there's a lot of lateral movement. So plyometrics going side to side can definitely pay dividends when we go back into the sport of lacrosse. So we progressed it from uh, small hurdles a little bit closer, then we distance them out a little bit more and then distance them out a little bit further. We only progressed if we stuck the landing through the whole repetitions, which he did um, confidently. No, no, no. We 
then moved on to the medium level hurdles. Same procedure, we started with them a little bit closer, moved them out a little bit further, and we just stopped it there because one, we changed the distance, but also the height. So we had to jump over them laterally a little bit higher, but also they were a little bit further apart. So that's the furthest we took the difficulty for the plyometrics today. <laughs> Final part of the session, we focused on the dog sled. Um, we focused on this to develop the position for acceleration. So we wanted that little bit of a horizontal lean. Um, I say lean, horizontal full body position. So you can imagine drawing a straight line from the head all the way down to the ankle bone. That's what we want to see during our first phase. So we had a few practices with the sled and then we moved into some 10 meter accelerations trying to implement what we just practiced during the sled into an unweighted sprint. And bring that back leg a little bit. I would say bring that a little bit closer to this arm. in the videos ryan performed this well we went from a two-point start we were looking for them positive shin angles so when he actually projects himself from the acceleration start position he's pushing back into the ground but he's pushing himself forward at the same time then first initial steps of acceleration is all about pushing back into the ground so you project yourself forwards and every uh, foot contact or ground contact time is uh, when his foot is in contact with the floor we want as much force into the ground as possible so he's not wasting any energy taking uh, little choppy steps. Tried not to make this video too long. I wanted a little bit of explanation here. I want a little bit of the session and also just the movements that we went through Ryan and a lot more of the videos involved of the training today. So if you enjoyed the video, like I said at the start, hit that like button and I will see you in the next video. Okay.